Hello, uh, we are Giants of Toys. I'm Jack, I play guitar, synth, piano, accordion. I'm Michael, uh, I do the vocals, guitar, piano, slap the bass a little bit. I'm Chris, and I play the drums. Giants and Toys as a whole, I, we, uh, I feel like we pull a lot from everywhere. People that always ask us, um, you know, when we're setting up for a new show, like, what do you guys sound like? It's really hard to put a particular genre on us because we pull from so many different places. I think as a whole, as a band, our style comes from our diverse, uh, our diverse backgrounds in music and stuff. We were down in Mike's old apartment, and we didn't have a band name. And we had put our, you know, you have all those random band name generators and stuff all the time. That those were not working out very well for us. Like. A lot of goldfish in those kind of names for some reason. Goldfish, pony, lion. <laughs> but um, it's always like a verb. So we started animal. looking at verb for uh, at movies and things like that, and we were just looking at down lists of movies and really whoops. obscure ones. And it came across Giants and Toys. Actually, it's a movie about three candy companies in Japan or something. You can see it. There's videos on YouTube and stuff. It's a really weird movie. It's it's about the politics. Of we we haven't ever actually uh, watched, watched it yet, but we, we should probably do this. here on the lovely Flower Hill at the University of Montevallo. We don't need tour when we go to school. And uh, we are going to play a show at Falcon Fest. We're headlining, so that's, that's kind of cool. We feel like rock stars or something. But uh, we're here sound checking. Uh, and uh, once we get that done, we'll be hanging out and uh, laying out on the lawn. And hopefully uh, people show up and, and rock out. So we're pretty stoked. We originally uh, wanted to be the Shakes before the Alabama Shakes. This is like way before that. We were in high school, but we were like Googling stuff or MySpacing at that point. And uh, there are too many bands called the Shakes and we're like, we don't want to get sued. So let's go to Giants and Toys. We're bigger than a garage band, I'd say that, because we've come out and we're playing shows um, anywhere we can get shows. And, you know, I, I think I think it's really hard to define where we are currently because it's we don't really want to see ourselves as this. We don't want to put that label on us because we want to be something much bigger. So I think it's easier to tell you where we want to go. And we want to play music 
for the world. I think that's I think that's everybody's goal. Yeah. Um, I think we're be able to share our talent and our what we find to be music with everybody. <laughs> I would say we probably feel the most comfortable on stage, I think, because uh, we all get this, or I know for me, I become like Jack Rockstar mode, and uh, I kind of just let loose. <laughs> On stage and we're actually playing like like we're in our we're in our element and it feels natural and we really just like you know go go for it I gotta say one of the best feelings uh, that I get from playing music is when I see uh, just people dancing in the crowd and having a good time if I could do that uh, I, I, I would do that seven days a week um, even on holidays uh, just it's one of the best feelings in the world just to see somebody out there having a good time to something that we created that we put our you know blood sweat and tears into uh, that's part of what it's all about for me anyways <laughs> I know my favorite song to play live is, I guess we're calling it right now, we're calling it Johnny. Um, because uh, it's, it's all of us, it, it feels like a culmination of what Giants and Toys has come, become so far. Um, because we're all singing together in some parts, we're all just kind of, everybody's playing their hardest on their instrument, I think would be the best way to put it. It's kind of like everybody feels so in tune with their instrument on that song, and it's just, I don't know, I get so hyped when I'm playing that song. That's just for me. I like playing the clap, it's fun. Uh, no, I get a shred on that song, but um, we uh, we get people in the crowd to do it. They, uh, so we get a little crowd involvement. Really, any, any song like where the crowd like I can see someone's face go like when someone can recognize oh this song it like it makes you feel like the coolest person in the world in the world because you're like that person just got excited about something that we wrote and that is like the best feeling so we're in Birmingham it's gonna be a fun show speakeasy uh, it's over there we're about to have some fun I, I write all the lyrics um, and you know some of those songs are personal some of those songs are stories um, so for me it's just I'm, I'm storytelling 
and you know I don't consider myself like a lyricist or I don't consider myself an artist but like a storyteller and that's what I do um, but honestly it's, uh, whatever they take um, you know if, if I sing a sad song but to someone else it sounds like the happy song and that's what it is then I, I'm not gonna tell that person they're wrong because if if I elicit an emotion from somebody and it's contrary to mine I mean th to me if as long as I elicit an emotion that's like the greatest feeling in the world is because someone is feeling something from something that I've created that we've created I want people to kind of kind of pull from it I guess would be you know a lot of our songs I would like to think you know have a happy beat to them or kind of upbeat but uh, but at the same time uh, some of them are a little bit more difficult to push through or a little bit slower and I kind of feel like our music is a rep representation of life like you're gonna have good times and bad times so like Mike said if somebody can pull something away even if it's just a little sliver of something as long as they can make meaning out of what we're making, then uh, I consider it a success. Our last CD that we recorded, we recorded ourselves at in um, one, a friend's garage, and uh, it was all done ourselves. This this time around, we thought about doing that. I actually bought all the stuff to do it, and then we ended up deciding that we wanted to go in the studio. Didn't want to deal with the headache of dealing with each other ten hours a day, being the only ones in the room. So um, we decided to go to Chase Park Transduction in Athens, Georgia and work with Alex Crow um, for three days. We just recorded an, uh, an EP and we're gonna get it mastered. And the next step for us is to send that EP off and see if we can get some recognition. Uh, we really wanna play South by Southwest next year. Um, and if we get to that and really just start to tour uh, the Southeast and, and really just kind of hound in touring and try to get some sort of like um, regional uh, recognition and then you know really just keep going from there and eventually hopefully get signed and we can you know do this for a living. That'd be. It's kind of the dream, you know? <laughs> After that, we're um, gonna um, get, get it out there. Get it out there, our fans, um, to people who want to listen to it. Hopefully, we can get on some college radio stations. Uh, we could, you know, so we're definitely set it off to like some record labels, and maybe we'll get a response, maybe we won't, but you know, it's not gonna stop us from touring and keep on keeping on. <laughs> Dry 
drive through uh, at, a, at a fast food restaurant. And I remember, I don't have my phone anymore, but uh, I wish I saw this picture, but uh, we, um, we had, I think we were recording our self EP, like our self-made EP, and uh, and I said, I said, Jack, and he looked, and, and I took a picture of us, and I said, that was the moment we knew we were gonna be rock stars. And I know that sounds so corny, and I got it from The Rocker, you know that movie? <laughs> and it, we, I think we just watched that is what it was, but I know it sounds really corny, but like, maybe that's the event, but really it was kind of just like this, I mean, this is the, my favorite thing to do is play music, and so it was, who doesn't want to do that for their living? Uh, anybody who has ever come to one of our shows, um, thank you. Uh, and uh, and anybody who's ever uh, bought anything that we've ever sold, thank you. And anybody who will hopefully come to one of our shows or buy anything or, or listen to us or just take the time out of the day to be like, who are these guys? What are they about? And just take something from it, enjoy it. Maybe they don't like it. Or maybe they, they love it. Um, but it's anybody who takes the time out of the day, uh, especially now, because like the world's so, you know, cyber and it's, everything's a, mi a mile a minute. Uh, just thank you to everybody, and we hope they enjoy what we do, and we're gonna keep doing it. And uh, to those people out there that uh, haven't heard us yet, uh, check us out. Give us a shot. <laughs>